Hi, I'm Dr. Doug Whitfield again here, and I am going to talk today uh, about uh, the bacteria in your mouth. And all these talks, I try to do them in three to four minutes, real quick, hit the high points. Um, and I'm also going to honestly do them whenever I get a chance. Um, today was a beautiful day in the Seattle metro area. And I personally went up uh, Mount Si, which is one of the local hills slash mountains up here, and did a nice uh, fast hike uh, and run. And uh, staying active is gonna always make everything in your health uh, better, just will. Anyway, let's talk about oral bacteria. I think it's important that we touch on topics that uh, maybe your dentist doesn't normally do. Um, anyway, there's research that shows there are 11, 10 plus 1, bacteria that cause oral pathogen or pathogenesis. So um, I'm going to focus on a test, a simple little saliva test that actually can tell you if you have any of those 10 plus 1, 11 bacteria. Okay, and when I do that with my patients, and I test about 75% of my patients uh, about uh, this, at least one every one to two years, okay? And what I've been finding, about 25 to 50% of them, of uh, those patients end up coming up with several of those pathogens, okay? Now, how do we test? from saliva. Well, you spit in a tube, real simple. You spit in a tube. That saliva then is sent off via federal uh, FedEx to uh, a company called Oral DNA. Now, I happen to have a little sheet here called Boom. And this is the kind of output they give us, okay? But again, it's uh, Oral DNA Labs, okay? Which you might see that backwards and it's the myperiopath report. Anyway, what I find fascinating about this is they can tell us all about these 11 bacteria and whether you have them or not. And if you have any of the, specifically the high-risk pathogens, then we got a problem. We definitely have a problem, and we need to do something about it. We have an infection, and we have an infection that can cause heart disease. It can cause low birth weight babies, Okay. It can cause uh, things like uh, Alzheimer's. Okay. Um, it, again, it can cause heart attacks. It can cause um, diabetes. Now let's talk about words. Words are important. Causation is a very powerful word. And association is another word. Okay. Um, so most of these things, I, I, to correctly talk about it, would be strongly associated. Okay. Uh, there are some uh, reports of a causation, and Dr. Balin Doni, which you know I really have a lot of respect for, published a report uh, about a year, year and a half ago, talking about causation for a lot of these things, okay? So there's a lot of research out there that tells us they're bad. Anyway, I'm going to talk about this report real quick that one patient that I had had. She's 73 years old. And uh, she did a saliva test, and she's relatively new to us. And what did we find? We found out that she had a particular bacteria in the highest risk group called Tanarella forsythus. This bacteria is associated with chronic uh, periodontal disease, gum disease. And this bacteria is known to invade the tissue, and so it's very hard to treat. So how do we do it? We did deep cleaning with a scaling and root planning, an ultrasonic scaler, a piezo scaler. We used um, an air polisher, and we used laser. And then we finished this whole up with the appropriate antibiotic to use. And then we will retest either six weeks or three months later to see if we eliminated that bacteria. It's pretty cool stuff. It works, and it's very important that you ask your dentist about it. It's pretty darn mainstream, and it's about time we all found out if we had pathogens, bacteria, in our mouth. That's it for today. Thanks, guys. Bye.